All right, what's up everyone? Duquesne here, and today we are back with another Forge Hub map feature. Today we're taking a look at the map called Bloodstone by DT Chaos. Now this map did take some inspiration from Halo Wars structures as well as Borderlands 3 Bounty of Blood DLC. I love whenever people take ideas and inspiration from other games and bring them into Forge. It's a lot of fun to be able to see that happen. Uh, now this map was played on Nated's last uh, Friday stream. He played on this map with a full, you know, lobby, having a lot of fun with BTB on it. Uh, so if you do want to see more, you know, streams and more maps being played or possibly get your map played, uh, make sure you post your map over on ForgeHub.com. It's super easy to be able to do that. And every Friday at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, Nated will be jumping on and playing uh, you know, just a variety of a bunch of different types of maps, not just BTB, not just 4v4, just a variety of different maps, uh, checking them out. Uh, so y'all can see some proper gameplay from someone that's actually pretty good. So y'all don't have to watch me attempt to, you know, fight and stuff like that. So this is going to be, uh, what I like doing is walking around, checking out the details that these forgers create. I like showing off all the detail because they put hours upon hours upon hours into this. Uh, into all these maps that they create uh, but this one is called bloodstone and so let's go ahead and start walking around and first of all you see this huge structure with this beam light going to the next one over there which is awesome now this map does include a whole bunch of different vehicles because it is a btb map so it does include race banshees warthogs rocket hogs ghosts as well as a variety of weapons like right here you can see the sniper right here on the back and on the other uh base that's over that way you'll see another sniper as well as some other things you can have a spanker there's skewers and there's scrap cannons and all sorts of stuff to help deal with all the vehicles on this map but one thing that i really like about this is that visually to me you know this looks different than a lot of maps uh, that you do see uh, you know i love this like little snow patches so it's like a cold area but also the way these stones are on the outside it reminds me a lot of a map i made in h2a uh where or was it halo 4 i can't remember one of those but just the style of stones like the map itself doesn't look the same it's totally different but the just the look of the stones just reminded me a lot of that uh, and so it's just interesting to be able to see but right here we have a banshee let's go ahead and run around now and let's go into this base and we'll be driving some vehicles around to checking out the vehicle routes uh, to make sure the jumps and everything are also really smooth because uh, there are jumps on this map and that makes me very happy I love jumps I love the internal there's plenty of like little spots where you could jump up to get on the outside there's a BR right up there um, as well as you know multiple levels you got that upper level there you got a lower level all the way down here and this is where the race spawns um, also nice you got more weaponry that can help deal with vehicles uh, you got warthogs you got ghosts you got all sorts of stuff uh, but the very first thing let's go ahead and check out this little area that kind of goes straight to the enemy base uh, well not really straight to the enemy base the enemy base is over that way over there uh, but it does have like a little you don't have to go out around over there You could kind of come through here, which this is I love these little lights right here I like whenever people put like mood lighting. I don't know what to call it uh, But just like they put like little lighting in the caves, but they don't just like brighten up something They put actually something there and I love this little light right here that just provides uh, Just some that blue hue uh, type of life for the blue side uh, makes a lot of sense red versus blue I guess that's not it anymore. It's just outlines now. I miss the red versus blue But I also do like being able to see my own Spartans uh, Stuff on there, but that's a different argument for a different day <laughs> But yeah, look at this very great job with the water. I love the how we have water we can place and forge now uh, it just makes everything just look a little bit better. We don't have to do that decal trick. There's an overshield right over there in the center. And the enemy base is over way over that way over there. Uh, but this is kind of like an S-turn type of canyon. Uh, so the cannon goes that way. It comes through right here. And then it comes along this way right here. And then turns back around and goes over there. So that's pretty interesting. And there's two cut sections of it. So if you don't want to actually follow the main path everything you can go around the outside there we go man we got more you know all sorts of stuff look at that skewers that take out some vehicles and stuff uh so there's tons of different objects and 
weapons and equipment that in grenades that can take out vehicles this is such a big map we got to go through this quickly because this is a btb map and btb maps are massive uh so we got to go through it to make sure we aren't going to be here for 45 minutes uh trying to check out this map so we'll go over there on the way around uh first let's go ahead and check out this way i love the creek like how it comes through right here and then it kind of winds through it's just not straight it actually like turns and winds through everything that's really nice it's just also just changes the line of sights of everything uh there's plenty of rocks also that block the lines of sight so that's good too we got noob cubes you don't have new cubes in your map just don't even make a map there's no point you you got to have the cubes in there uh but nice it's just everything this looks like a very good warthog based vehicle map which is fantastic you you want some good vehicle action in a btb map uh so it's really awesome that uh, it seems like he really concentrated on making some good vehicle routes there so there's the other enemy base there uh let's go check out this individual tower that's over here to check portable out what's over there oh the what hand. portable blackouts okay i guess i picked up something there um jumping around right here this is a very interesting looking map i love how open the map is but also at the same time there's plenty of space to get behind rocks like this uh you know so you're while it's open it's still fairly closed off especially if you can enter in those caves over there or the caves over here so you don't have to go through this huge vehicle route that goes through here um i also like that there are some rocket hogs and stuff like this in these center vehicles oh there goes that right there uh in those center uh areas right there Ooh, there we go now we got the spankers so there are a lot of different weapons that can help take out vehicles which is good you know you don't want you know, like you don't want it to be too easy uh, for vehicles to be able to combat, you know, all the Spartans and stuff, especially since the, all these routes right here are big enough for a Warthog to be able to come through. Uh, you got to make sure you got some protection uh, as a lonely Spartan running through everything here. So here's this. I love this cave right here. Very nice coming out here. Looks really good. So let's go ahead and keep con coming over here. And we'll go ahead and hop in the Warthog, drive it around a little bit. Uh, to check out you know these routes and I do believe I remember seeing some jumps and so we definitely have to take those so let's go ahead and jump in this warthog here Ooh, we there we are the I wish you could stick your head out the window what there is no window so technically I kind of am but here we go okay so here we are driving through here so far so good and here's one of the jumps look at this yes what a perfect jump right there and it just comes straight over to the other uh base right here this is everything is extremely smooth Oop, almost had terrible driving man like all the transitions between the terrain pieces you got to remember there is no terrain editor in halo infinite you know uh like we have oop, a little jut juttery there that's probably my pc struggling <laughs> you know right now uh i should probably lower some settings there um but yeah it's one of those things where you know uh like it's amazing that forgers are able to create such smooth terrain pieces because of the fact that you don't have a terrain editor um and so you got to be able to make your terrain nice and smooth for all these vehicles that are driving around um okay there we go there we go take it easy and we are inside the water here uh but yeah everything is fantastic it looks great uh just overall just it's such an incredible build and i love how you also even though it's not smart to you could still fit your vehicle up on some of these pathways if i can get it up there there we go you know like you can still fit it up on these pathways and you know just make it to where if a if a warthog driver wants to be crazy and go inside the, all these spartan locations then they can uh then they can go in there uh so this is such a good map uh i definitely suggest going to check it out uh it, the download link will be in the description down below and remember uh you know everything that you see here is also over on forgehub.com there's tons of incredible maps over on forgehub so if you do want to check out more maps or you want to be able to watch the streams that nate is going to be doing every friday at 7 p.m 
uh, then yeah, you just uh, gonna be check it out. And just keep an eye on uh, Fridays. Keep an eye on socials because they do post whenever the streams go live over on socials, um, as well as on Forgehub.com. That's where all the maps that he'll be pulling from. Uh, so this is such a great map. If you want to check it out, again, the download link will be in the description down below. Subscribe right here for more incredible, you know, Forge map walkthroughs and just looking at what these Forgers are capable of doing because they do such a fantastic job of supporting the community and creating incredible content. Uh, so thank you all everyone for coming out. Appreciate it. And remember, let's forge a new Halo.